Hi guys, I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul and I found some really interesting and new things this time that I'm really excited to share with you. So I'm just going to dive right in. Uh, in my last haul, I mentioned that I was going to be doing a DIY with those metal word signs that I found. I believe they say welcome, thankful, and blessed. So I found the other half of what I needed in order to start that DIY, which was the wood pumpkin cutout. So I'm going to be using that and using those metal words to create a nice sign for my door. I also picked up one of the over the door wreath hangers and I did get the brown because I figured the brown is a little bit more neutral um, and could be used in other seasons rather than just fall whereas you can also get it in orange but I figured that was just a little bit more seasonal. So I am going to be using the door hanger and once my DIY is complete it's going to be going on my door just like that. All right, along the fall and Thanksgiving theme, I also picked up some more decorative, decorative pumpkins. Uh, in my last haul, I got the matted look pumpkins, but in this one, I managed to find the shiny or glossy ones. So I picked up four of these. I got the red, the dark orange, the more golden orange or almost a yellow colored, which I thought was really pretty. And then I also got a green. I believe there's a blue as well, but I didn't see it at any of my Dollar Trees. So I still am on the lookout for any more colors that might pop up. Uh, going along that uh, decorative theme but in the interior I did find a another magnet um, I'm obsessed with the Dollar Tree magnets I have a whole collection of them on my fridge I just think that the sayings they come up with are really clever uh, really witty and that the artwork is kind of funny or, or pretty on some of them it just depends what the magnets going for um, but this one when I saw it I knew I just had to have it to add to my collection so this says, weird is a side effect of being awesome. And this one has kind of like a pretty little detailed background there, which I thought was gorgeous. And I just thought the saying was perfect. You know, be yourself. It doesn't matter if you're a little quirky, a little odd. That's what makes you unique. That's what makes you special. So, you know, let your true color shine. And if people like you, they like you. If they don't, then you don't need them. So I got that to add to my collection. I also picked up a couple more school supplies in my previous video. I did start hauling some for my son who's going into grade three this year. So I figured he's gonna be the one that's gonna need the most. Um, in the last video, I hauled him a Ninja Turtles pencil case. So when I found this pen, I thought that would just go perfect with it. So it's got Ninja Turtles on it. And it's actually one of the six color pens, one of the ones that you pop down the different color that you want to write in. So I thought he'd have a lot of fun using that. My kids also love coloring on black construction paper. And I mean, on black, you can only see maybe yellow, orange, white. And if you have like the silver and gold pencil crayons, which are kind of rare to find, those show up. But otherwise you can't really see too much on them. So when I saw these, I thought I have to pick these up let the kids try them and I bet you it'll be a lot more exciting and a lot more colorful than just the pencil crayons. So these are glitter markers and it's vibrant metallic ink with glitter. Decorate paper, cards, and more. So that's what they look at. Look at the sparkle in them. So there's a blue and a red in that one and a green and a gold in that one. So I'm going to let them try these out and see how well they work. But I thought for $1.25, you can't go wrong. Even if it just lasts them one art session, you know, it's fun. I also picked up another package of the Twixie uh, dual ended markers that I hauled in the last video for my son as well. These are just the other colors that are available in that series. So now he does have all of them in this size. So I thought that would be good for him. 
I also found the absolute coolest post-its that at least I've ever seen. Um, the actual post-it brand will sometimes do shapes like hearts, um, they've done speech bubbles, they've done kind of like a cloud, but I've never seen them do animals, which is what I found at the Dollar Tree. So these are of course by Jot, which is Dollar Tree's amazing um, like stationary brand, and they come up with the coolest things. But look at this guy. It is a dinosaur sticky note. And you get quite a few stickers on there. I don't, oh yeah, 120 sheets. 120 dino sheets. I also got a green squirrel. Look at him, so cute. And I wanna say it's an elephant, but then I guess you could also argue that it's an anteater. I think if we're going for the more common animals, it's an elephant. But look at that nose. Look at that nose. Could be an anteater. Who knows? No one knows. But I, when I saw these, I'm like, can't pass these up. I'm actually going to be using them in my kids' lunch pails to write a couple notes on them, saying, have a good day, miss you, love you, do your best, that kind of idea. Just toss one of those in there. And the fact that it's a sticky back, that way it doesn't get loose. You can get lost. You can um, attach it right to their sandwich container, or right to the lid of their lunch pail. I thought those were just so cute and so vibrant and yeah, just perfect for that. They also had a cat, a bunny rabbit, and a fish, but I found with those ones that the the area in which you had to write was a lot smaller, so I did get the three widest shapes as well. I also found these pens by Color Sense. So they're scented felt tip pens. And when I saw them, I thought these look well, not identical, I guess, but exactly like the Papermate flare pens. I actually have a couple sets of those. I use them in my agendas. I like to use them for marking when I'm teaching. And I thought these are very, very similar looking to them. They do have a little bit more design work on the body of the pen in comparison to the uh, Papermate flares, which are just a plain color body. But as far as the um, tip of the pen and how it writes, it's on par. These don't bleed through, just like the Papermate doesn't. And what makes these even more neat than the Papermate ones is that they are actually scented with aromatherapy oils. So it says on the back here that aromatherapy uses essential oils to positively influence the mind, body, and spirit. Color Sense therapeutic formulations include essential oils that help promote calmness, relaxation, alertness, and focus. So not only do they come in fun colors that have a cool design on their body, but they actually are scented with aromatherapy and essential oils which I thought was amazing. So you're not gonna get cotton candy, you're not gonna get bubble gum or chocolate, you were getting like lavender and eucalyptus. So they're not the scents that are gonna match the colors. Like, I believe it's the blue one. That's yeah, the blue one, this is like lavender scented. It's absolutely beautiful. And I mean, if you use essential oils, you know that lavender is definitely a key uh, one when it comes to relaxation. So I can't wait to add these to my pen collection and get started with using them. I mentioned in the last haul that I did that I am a teacher as well. Currently I'm just a supply, but I'm always picking up stuff that I can use while I'm supplying and also stuff that I can use when I eventually get my own classroom. So the Dollar Tree has the teaching tree section. Most Dollar Trees do, if not all of them. And they always have a a neat selection of items, but I find that at least at the Canadian Dollar Trees are borders, so the borders that you would put up on bulletin boards are lacking. They're normally just like the metallic shiny ones, which I don't really care for. So when I saw these ones that were actually patterned with cute little characters, I just had to pick them up. So this is one of the ones I got, and it's farm animals. So you've got a horse, a chicken, a pig, and a cow on there. And I just thought that was so sweet, especially in the primary grades. 
to put up, add a pop of color, add some fun little characters. And you did get 12 pieces, so 12 strips, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I also found these ones that have ice cream cones and cookies on them. So I thought that was just too cute to pass up. Food seems to be a big thing in a lot of the back to school supplies. And I thought that was really, really sweet to use in the classroom. Then for my kids, I also found these little color by number books and they're by Beaver Books and Beaver Books you can find um, at other stores and they're going to be a lot more expensive than $1.25. So when I found these, I thought might as well grab them. Um, I might put them in my kids stockings for Christmas. I typically start early with um, buying stuff for Christmas. I have three birthdays in the fall as well. So I'm always looking for neat little things to add to their birthday gifts and also to put in their stockings from Santa. So this is what they look like. It says color by numbers and it does give you the markers that you're going to need. And inside the pages are nice and bright white, which I find is easier to color on because you know exactly the color you're going to get. And then on the bottom there, if you can see, it does show you what color each number is. So this one's on the farm and it has a whole bunch of farm animals in it. I also got at the zoo. Ocean Life, and Dinosaurs. Uh, also, I don't know if I'm going to save them for Christmas or not. I might bust them out earlier. I thought that these would be good to use in the car, especially for longer trips when the kids tend to get bored. So these are magnetic drawing boards. I know that I had one of these when I was a kid. They were popular back then. They seem to be making a comeback again. So this is just with the little slider that erases. You use the little stylus there and it picks up the little particles that are underneath. You can draw a picture and erase it and start all over again. I thought these were great. My kids love to play tic-tac-toe so they could play tic-tac-toe against one another. And I did get Two different colors. I got the blue and the red. I am looking. I'm hoping that they're going to have maybe like a green and a purple so that each of my kids can have a different color. But if I can't find two different colors, I'll just have to get one more of each of the blue and the red. Also, for gifts, I found the coolest socks. So Dollar Tree is pretty amazing as far as their socks goes. You get uh, a great deal. I typically buy the three packs of socks that are $1.25 for my kids and they might not last the longest but my kids are hard on their socks. They like to slide across the floor in them. They like to walk outside without their shoes on in them. So I don't really want to fork out a whole bunch of money when it comes to socks. So I think that they're they're perfectly fine and they always have the cutest little designs, the cutest little patterns which always makes it more fun for them. So I always look in the sock section and when I was there the last time I found these. So these are Nickelodeon, they're Paw Patrol, and if you can see there, it's Chase, who's the police dog from Paw Patrol, his giant face there, and these are actually thermal socks. So they've got that nice and warm, toasty, fuzzy fleece lining in them, and even better, they have the rubber grips on the bottom so that you're not sliding all over the floor because when you get those thicker winter socks without them they become awfully slippery and the kids are falling all over the place so Nickelodeon was smart and they threw the rubber grips on the bottom which is amazing. These, as I'll show you on the back here, retail for $5 and I got them for $1.25. Like you cannot beat that deal. I'm probably going to go back and get another pair for my nephew uh, to put in his stocking as well. These are good for 11 to 12 when it, sorry, 11 to 2 when it comes to the shoe size. Um, so my um, son and my nephew are around the same age, they're 5 and 6. So if you're 
children are around that age or just have the smaller feet, these would be absolutely perfect for them. Unfortunately, I didn't see any of the other Paw Patrol characters yet, but you never know, they might come out with the rest of them. And another licensed uh, find that I got was this. Look at that. An entire Lightning McQueen with all his body art and everything. Any guesses as what it is? <laughs> I was shocked to find out that it is a body wash. So if you look at the trunk here, that's actually, it's hard to tell, there we go. That's actually where the lid is. And it's a body wash shaped in Lightning McQueen. And this actually has a tangerine scent, which I thought was perfect for my son because a lot of the body wash you get is really girly scented or bubble gum. So I thought tangerine, a little fruity, a little bit nicer for him. And you just can't beat the little character. So once he's done, rinse him out and he can sit on the shelf. He can even play with them. I also got um, a couple of the Treat Me Bath Bursts. And I was watching someone else haul these and they were mentioning that they were squishy. Um, mine from the Treat Me's aren't squishy, like it's solid as a rock, literally. So I'm not sure if maybe the ones that you found got exposed to the heat or just weren't properly formed um, in that batch, I'm not really sure. But they are supposed to be hard. Literally every bath burst that I found by the Treat Me at my Dollar Tree were hard. So I don't know if you want to mention that to the uh, the store that you were at um, and have them pull them or not, but I mean it's probably going to work the same. I got this one, which was a pink pineapple. And then I also got like a teal and purple little bird. Um, my daughters did try the little bird in their bath yesterday. And unfortunately I was kind of disappointed with it. Normally with the bath bombs, um, you get a lot of fizz and they float at the top of the bath and you can see it, which is half the fun, at least when you're a little kid. And most often they will turn the water a light color, like it's not super dark or anything like that, but they will color the water, <laughs> sorry, they will color the water a little bit. Um, but these ones don't. They sink to the bottom, they barely fizz, you kind of have to help them along by crumbling them. They don't color the water and they don't really smell. Like there's no scent to them. So we actually had to add um, bubble bath to the bath after the fact. So I wouldn't recommend these. Um, no real point to them. I mean, they don't fizz, they don't color, they don't smell. I would say pass on these. You're better going to Lush and spending $5 for bath bombs if that's something you're into. I also picked up uh, lip balms for my daughter. She calls it lipstick, which is I'm fine with. They don't add any color to her, um, but she likes putting them on thinking it's lipstick. And I thought these were just so cute. She loves um, emojis and especially the poop emoji. I'm not really sure why, maybe because it's humorous, I guess. So I got these two. So the one says mine and it's a rainbow poop emoji and it smells like fruit punch. And then the regular poop emoji there where you can actually see the stink waves coming off him says yours and it's chocolate scented. So I thought she'd get a kick out of those. I'll probably throw these in her stocking for her. I also got two of the whole blends care cream rinse out mats that other people seem to be hauling i love the whole blends uh, shampoos um, i typically get those from shoppers so i'm not even sure how much these masks typically are but i thought i'd give them a try my hair does tend to dry out especially in the summer here with all the humidity so i thought these would be good to try and see if they're any good and if they help me at all I also picked up two household items. I got another candle. Um, everyone seems to be hauling these. These are the Krispy Kreme donut candles. And I picked up the raspberry filled one. It smells really, really nice. And it's such a cheerful red color in there. You could actually use this in the holidays over Christmas as well. But it smells really nice. I also picked up the uh, powdered blueberry, which I've actually started burning. And it does smell nice. It doesn't fill up the whole room. Um, I have mine in my kitchen, but it's a nice, it's a nice light scent. Just a little bit of a hint of it in the background is always nice. Um, they do say that they burn up to 25 hours. I think I've had mine 
for two or three days, not burning constantly or anything, maybe a couple hours a night. Um, and it seems to be holding up pretty good. So yeah, I'd recommend getting these. They're a nice size, nice scent, nice color. Can't go wrong. I also picked these up. Um, they're called glass wipes. And it says 24 wipes in a resealable package. I was cleaning my uh, patio door windows and keeps leaving a streak. So I thought that maybe if I use these cloths, you might get more of a streak free shine, at least I'm hoping. And I thought for $1.25, it's gonna clean my window either way. So if it's still streaky afterwards, eh, doesn't really matter. But if it isn't, then score for $1.25. Can't beat that. And then last but not least, I picked up three food items. First one is I got the Martin's Crispy Apple Chips. Um, I'm not a big fan of these, but my son sure is. And he's only tried the regular ones before. So when I saw that these were caramel, I thought even better. You know, if he likes the plain ones, he's most, well, I would think most definitely going to enjoy the caramel ones, which are going to be a little bit sweeter. And I like these bags because they're perfect snack size, perfect portion for packing in lunches. So I thought if he loves this flavor or even more, I can get him more of the regular ones for when school starts up and these would be perfect to send with him for a healthy snack in the mornings. For me, because, you know, I can't like the healthy snack. Nope, I have to like the unhealthy snack. Um, I picked up more of the Real Earth chocolates and these ones are the chocolate covered peanuts. Um, so far, my favorite has actually been the chocolate covered blueberries. My girls absolutely love them. They always ask me if they can have more of those ones, um, which I think is great. Um, but I thought I would give the peanut ones a try because who doesn't like chocolate covered peanuts? I guess you have a nut allergy, you probably don't like chocolate covered peanuts, but anyone who doesn't probably does. And these are good till uh, 2020, um, October 2nd. So you've got lots of time to eat them. Who am I kidding? If they're going to last that long, they will probably be gone before the week's end. And then I got uh, Tic Tacs. These are Tic Tac mixers, watermelon and lime. It says it's a new flavor and that's for sure because I've never heard of it, but I thought that that would be super, super refreshing, a nice fruity flavor, especially here at the end of summer. Nice to keep in the car, in your purse. That's when you want a little something to wet your whistle or keep in your mouth. Yeah. So that's it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you're able to find some of the really neat things that I was able to. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend guys.